Great, thank you. Um, we'll call this meeting to order this afternoon, Thursday, February 3rd. Present this afternoon, myself, Natasha Yakovlev and Commissioner Helen Kahn. And just to remind everybody, this meeting is being Zoom recorded. Is there anybody here for public comment? Seeing no public comment, we'll move on to, oops, I'm so sorry. Um, item number three, the application for short-term liquor license for the Academy of Music Incorporated 274 Main Street, Saturday, February 26th, 2022 from 7 to 11 p.m. This is for Bruce Cockburn and there is a request for fee waiver. Melissa, hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Could you just state your name for the record? Sure, Melissa Kirby, theater manager for the Academy of Music. Great, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Any changes to share with us? No changes. Helen, do you have any questions? I don't, I can make that motion if you want. That would be great. <laughs> okay, I'll make a motion to approve the application for short-term liquor license for the Academy of Music as detailed in item three on the agenda, along with the fee waiver. I will second the motion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, sorry, roll call, uh, Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Item number four, application for a new entertainment license for Cafe Balagon at 241 Main Street. This would be for DJ singers and comedy Wednesday through Saturday evenings from six to 11. Hi there, how are you? Hi everyone, how are you? Good, can you just state your name for the record? Yes, uh, Adi Nagli. And want to let us know what your plans are for the cafe? Yeah, so we, we applied for the uh, liquor license, for the wine and uh, beer license, and we got that. And we're going to probably starting by opening one night a week, maybe a couple of nights a week with like DJs, some live music, and uh, maybe comedy, and see how it goes from there. OK. Um, do you plan to have something every night that you have the license for, or you just want to leave it open? Uh, no, in. probably we'll start very, very, very slow and see how it goes from there. Okay. And of course, we'll keep the uh, city updated with every every decision we make. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, Helen, do you have any questions? I don't have any questions, no. Okay. Um, then I, just to let you know before we make the motion to approve it, just any like noise complaints that come forward to us, we'll have to call you back in and ask people to work things out. Of course. So that everybody can coexist, but you don't okay. have any residences right above you. So I don't think it will be a problem. I promise we'll invite them to. Okay. <laughs> That's very neighborly of you. Yes. Um, then I will make a motion to approve the application for the new entertainment license at Cafe Balagon at 241 Main Street as outlined in agenda item four. Uh, Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with it. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Item number five, application for a change of DBA on a common victualler license for Rias Baixas LLC DBA Homestead at 57 Strong Avenue. So I, this was my fault. I should have had this on the agenda when um the the license trans or the license application was on there it completely slipped my mind so this is just um kind of an administrative formality and good news their license was approved yesterday um so homestead is now back in business as homestead officially that's really that's great. really great yeah, very exciting <laughs> um then I guess we don't have anything really to discuss about this item, right? Okay, Helen, do you want to make a motion? Or Jeremy, do you want to add anything? To no, I'm just here. I know it's a, essentially a formality. I just wanted to come back again and you know say I appreciate everyone's uh, attention on this matter, uh, understanding, and um, very glad to kind of be wrapping this up with this last one here. Uh, yes. So I really appreciate it and uh, looking forward to going forward with everyone in a uh, more under, you know, uh understanding what's going on yeah. <laughs> instead of having to try and 
find all the weird things. So I just wanted to say that and I appreciate everyone's uh, yeah. assistance no, we're, here. We're happy that you get a fresh start. Yeah, thank you. Yes, and for all our sakes, let's hope that you don't have to come before us anytime in the near future. Right. <laughs> I hope so. That, that, the next thing will be good stuff for hopefully Summer on Strong uh, in the next yeah. month or so, but uh, all, all should be positive from here on out. Cool. Great. Thanks. Helen, you want to make the motion on this one? Sure, I'll make a motion to approve the application for change of DBA on a common victualler license as detailed in item five on the agenda. I will second. Um, Natasha? Yes. Helen. Yes. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Good luck with everything. Thank you very much. Item six, to consider temporarily delegating to the clerk, the commission the, of the clerk of the commission, the authority to extend the premises covered by a common victuallers license for the purpose of facilitating outdoor dining and to execute such extension of premises on behalf of a majority of the license commission. Yes. So we've done this the past two years. This is just um, kind of to alleviate all of, well, not really all of, but um, all of the meetings that we were having for people coming to us to have out, uh, outdoor dining areas like in the street. Um, so this would just allow me to work with the internal outdoor dining people through the city to approve those premises. This has nothing to do with liquor. Um, so you'll still be approving the liquor. It's really for um, like Haymarket, Dobra, Patisserie, Lennox, the individuals that don't have liquor licenses that want to come out into the street. That makes good sense. Yes, I'm all for it. Yes. Yeah. Do you need a motion on that? I do. Then I will make a motion to approve agenda item number six. Second. Excellent. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Item seven, approval of minutes. We have uh, December 1st, 2021, January 5th, 2022, and January 18th, 2022. Helen, did you have any adjustments to make? Uh, no adjustments, no. Okay, same. I'll make a motion to approve the approval of the minutes as outlined in agenda item number seven. Second. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Great. Item number eight, new business. I don't have any new business. Do you, Annie? I don't have any new business other than Summer on Strong will be happening again this year. Um, the city council passed the, um, essentially the War Powers Act that allows us to make um, modifications public spaces, aka allow people to go into the streets. Um, that was passed, I think, at the January 20th meeting. Um, and then we're just waiting on the final language from the state because it sounds like they're, actually sounds like they're extending it maybe for two years, um, the outdoor dining. Um, I don't know what you want to call it. The adjustments that, would, that allows the outdoor dining. Um, at the state level. So. That's great. Yeah. So um, I think um, April 5th is the start of outdoor dining um, Tuesday. So I'm talking with Amy Kaylane and hopefully going to have some applications on the March agenda. Okay. I hope so. Yeah. Um, I do have a question. Is there been any movement on a third commissioner? So we were kind of waiting to, oh, and that I was going to reach out to Rep Sabadosa because there was a um, hearing at the state level on, on this bill and we submitted testimony and so did Rep Sabadosa's office. Um, but I don't know where it is right now. So, and I meant to check on that. So I will check on that. That's what we were essentially waiting for. Okay. Yeah. Great. And do you know if there's anybody in the shoot, assuming we can move forward without requiring political? I mean, there, there's no applications. Okay. Um, but I can ask the mayor if maybe she has anybody in mind. Okay. I was going to say, yeah, you can ask Natasha's doppelganger if she has anyone in mind. 
<laughs> what? Wait, she's right here. What? Oh no, wait. Can oh. I just choose? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I don't know if it's worth mentioning now, but there's um, assuming there should be this upcoming application from the Chamber of Commerce for these Arrive at Fives. There's been some backdoor discussions because one of the hosts of the Arrive at Fives is All Out Adventures, who I am employed by. And so I'm playing phone tag with Attorney Seawald about if there's going to be any issue there. I mean, I would hope not. It's sort of a blanket, you know, approval of all of them. Um, but anyway, so, but it's not, I was surprised it wasn't on the agenda today. So maybe that'll come up in March. Yeah. Yeah event so not sure what's happening there isn't it the first wednesday of the month the same as our meeting yeah or it was the day before i thought i maybe i looked at the wrong calendar but it's like yeah either the same day or the day before i guess i think it's, it's actually the same day because i remember brian used to go to the oh, iraq lives right that's true. so maybe they'll license right under the <laughs> Yeah, if there's been staffing changes there, they just might not realize they need to have that in order. Unless they got a blank, I don't think they got a blanket one this year. No, no I think, yeah, I think they were, the idea was that they were going to, they need to get one, but I guess, yeah, yeah someone needs to tap someone, I guess, perhaps to remind them of that. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I mean, Helen, you should, I don't know. I mean, obviously you need to talk to attorney Seawell, but you should be fine if the chamber is the one applying for the license. That's what I think. Um, but did you leave him a voicemail? I did. And then he left me a voicemail and then I left him a voicemail. So that, that's what's been happening. <laughs> so it's, the ball's in his court. I think at this point, yeah, I did. Um, I maybe shouldn't have said it's not as urgent because it's not on this week's agenda. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, well, I mean, if you don't hear anything um, before, like, if it's like a week before the next meeting, let me know and I'll poke him. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I think he, he is trying to get back in touch with me, but. but. I, there's a lot of city issues right now. So as there always are, so. Yeah. And I would think this is a minor one, so. Yeah. Right. I hope. Re reassuring you that you have not conflicted out of being on the license commission while your employer hosts a chamber event. I know, yeah, which, yeah, seems ridiculous. Um, anyway, so yeah, that, that was all I had to bring up. All right. All righty. Then are we all set? Yeah, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor. Aye. Thank you.